children to go to pulmonary. I know this angle is kind of weird, but it's only where my phone will stay. And I have a pulmonary appointment. I got to do some blood work, maybe a chest x-ray, because they're going to see how my PFTs are, um, because I have pneumonia and pseudomonas in fact, lung infection right now. So, you know, we've been better, but that's okay. And I'm running a teensy, teensy bit late, but we're thriving. And I'm still gonna make time to get my coffee at Dunkin'. Good morning, how can I help you? Good morning, can I have a um, large hot um, pumpkin with cream only? Large hot pumpkin with cream only, anything else? No, that's it, thank you. You can do that. So I have my large hot coffee. I'm really gonna have to figure out angles in this car because I'm wilding right now. And that's all for now, folks. See you in about an hour when I get there. Hi. So, we're here. And yes, I'm on the roof because I thought it'd be a cool background. And it totally is. I'm a little nervous, and I usually am, because my PFTs were the lowest that they've ever been last week so they treated me for two nebulizers and a couple steroids and an antibiotic to treat the pseudomonas infection and my pneumonia that I currently have in these lovely lungs of mine so now I'm going there to do PFTs to see if they're higher and if the treatments are working and then I might go do an x-ray maybe some blood and yeah so I'm at Boston Children's Hospital, number one in the nation. We love them. So feeling very thankful that it's such a nice day out. It's like 30. And yes, Steph, I did take your sweatshirt while you're sleeping. Apologies. And I totally drove up to the roof just to take this video because for the vlog, I think it's so pretty. So now I'm gonna go frolic around some more and then I have my appointment in about 20 minutes. So, wait. It's so pretty. Okay, I should really go. Um, I'll see you guys in there. Hi, so I just got here and they put me in the room. I'll do PFDs and then my doctor will come in. And we have to keep a mask on at all times, even when they're in here, unless I'm doing like a um, throw culture or anything like that. So being safe. And I love this room because it has all the crickets you need. And so now I'm going to scroll through Instagram. I realize my hair looks like I am in third grade. Please don't come for me. It's not a good look, okay? Okay. So I just did BFTs and they're the same as last week. And I'm sad. Okay, appointment is done. And I have more for effing meds to do per usual. Let's do a little recap here because I feel like that was kind of good. And yes, I'm taking off my mask only because I'm on top of a parking garage and no one else is here. So. I got this new lovely paper because um, I don't do my meds in the right order. Yeah, I'm 19, but you know, life just gets in the way sometimes. But so I got this new app, it's called Mango Medication App, and it's gonna help me put all my meds in the order I need to do them. And my PFTs are down, yay. So that pretty much means that the pseudomonas grows in 80% of people with CF. So basically I was bound to get it sometime. And now my time is now. And so I have to treat it with this nebulizer called Toby. And I have to do it a month on, a month off so my body doesn't grow resistant to it. So, and I'm on 10 days out of my 28 day first span. So I wake up in the morning, I do my albuterol, which is the puff. Then I do my pulmazine neb. Then I do my 30 minutes on my vest, which is that big, pink machine that shakes, shakes, shakes. Then I have to do my Toby nab, which is 20 minutes. Then I do my mucomus, which is my tummy. 
that you guys saw in the clip this morning. Fast forward to my afternoons now, I need to do albuterol again. And instead of doing the vest twice a day, we all know that I'm not going to commit to that. So I do, I'm going to a run and that's gonna be my form of airway clearance because walking doesn't get stuff up, but when I run, I'm like moving all the junk in my lungs. So I'm running the afternoon and I just got an Apple watch. So I'm excited for that. I'm gonna out here gasp. And then I'm do my Toby right after my run, my Toby nap. And then I do my muca mist in the afternoon and at night. And my mirror lax twice a day. So I do my muca mist, then my mirror lax and my tube. And on top of the Cipro that I'm continuing. Cipro something something. That's an antibiotic. And I'm squinting because it's sunny, but so that is the new med regime that um has come out of today. But I'm honestly happy that I have it all written out. And I'm going to really I'm saying it in the universe, commit myself to doing this because once I get my vaccine in a couple weeks and my social life starts again, I don't want to feel shitty. So I'm going to do it. And I'm holding myself accountable by this video. And it's nice out. And so now I think I was going to do some Christmas returns, but I think I'm just going to go home. We'll stop, get coffee, get coffee for staff at Starbucks and sit on the couch and do my class. I'm taking an online women's studies course to fulfill my minor, so I have to do work for that. And yeah, yay. See y'all at home. That was, vlogging is very therapeutic. Can I, might I just add that real quick? Purell. So you touch the door, Purell. I draw my steering wheel, my engine that I'm about to turn on. I have my paper. Just a morning and night, people. What the F? Whatever, whatever. I have my mask from the hospital, we'll throw that away. And now, I draw my phone with the excess that's left on my hands. And no, it will not ruin your phone to Purell it. All you have to do is wipe off the screen. Purell your phone. People, your phone is dirtier than a public bathroom toilet. So please clean it with Purell when you get in the car because you touch your phone, you touch your face, touch your mouth, Corona, everything other than SARS-CoV-2 is everywhere. Shit's everywhere. Oh, by the way, yeah, my makeup splintered here um, because I was crying <laughs> at the appointment, if we're being real. Um, and I was crying because I didn't really think that I was gonna be able to do it. Uh, it's just sometimes can be really overwhelming having to do like an hour and a half of stuff every morning and night, but it is what it is, cause I need to be healthy. So that's what this is from. Oh, I gotta fix that. Um, yeah, really calling me out there. I'm about to go listen to some Morgan Wallen, Lee Brace, and drive home. Well, the sun's coming back. Where's my cool glasses? Okay, cue. See you guys at home. Hi, I'm back and it's almost noon now and I stopped and got me and Sissy Starbucks. I got my pumpkin cream cold brew and I figured I'd do a little haul. So sometimes when I have a bad day at the hospital, I stop at stores on the way home. So I got the last Maddie Ziegler eyeshadow palette. This is from Ulta. And they're really wiped out, obviously, because it's after Christmas. I don't know why I thought they would have so many things there. But, you guys, I've been really missing out on my colorful eyeshadow. And I really want to do a lilac wing. Like, winged eyeshadow. And so I got this eyeshadow palette. I've been eyeing it for a while. And, mm, she's beautiful. Look at, hello. Um... Yeah, I am so excited. It looks beautiful. I wanted all the colors. And so I got that Ulta. And I'm really excited for it. Then I went to Five Below to try to find a Squishmallow because I really wanted a Squishmallow because I don't want to have one here. I have one at school. They're elite stuffed animals, okay? But um, instead I got a bunch of shit I don't need at Five Below. Gum, collar, in here. Next thing I got is gel pens to write in my agenda because 
these things run out so quick, but I actually love writing in color. Like I cannot write in blue and black pen. Okay. I just can't. And I won't. So I got those. And then last thing I was out of my wet and wild foundation and they had that at five below. I was like, yes, five below popping off. So that is all I got. And now I'm going to go give stuff coffee, start some homework. And I'll talk to you guys later. Also, thank you guys for coming along to the hospital with me today. Hopefully next time will be better, better news. And I will see you guys next time.